Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, The Wild, and I'm back again with another reaction. Man, we got Stolen, Stolen Legos leads to bomb found during traffic stop. Crazy work. We finna get right into this. It's about make sure I run the likes up, sub and on post notifications. Y'all can follow the IG and Twitter. Links are in the description, man. Without further ado, let's get it. Shout out to Cold Blue Camp. On January 24th, 2022, a Walmart employee notified officers of a woman that had stolen Legos worth nearly $300 in Broken Arrow, this Oklahoma. An officer happened to spot the woman's vehicle and conducted a traffic stop. The woman was identified as 20-year-old Mariah Davis. Recording. Hey, I'm Officer Johnson. Hi. Hey, do you get your license and insurance on you? So the reason we stopped you is today says Walmart called in there. Did you suspect of possibly ringing up some items? Mark. Huh? Yeah. Huh? You bought items? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So you remember Native American tribe? Okay, just hang tight for me, alright? Is there anyone else in the car? No. Okay. She knows she's hot. That's why she's on the phone right now. Right. So, what were you doing at Walmart? Now? Yeah. Buying stuff. Okay. Homegirl, why are you answering any of his questions right now? You do not have to answer his questions. I don't get why people automatically start spewing out a bunch of damn shit to the cops like they're your friends. They're not your friends, bro. <laughs> Cause we're gonna call it you stole Legos earlier. Hey, you know? Did he get your ID? Yeah, he got it. Okay. You caught. You're caught. And your facial expressions told it all. You ever been arrested before? Well, your facial expression. Yeah. For what? Receiving um, stolen property because I was driving someone else's car. Okay. What all did you buy? Where is this at, bro? What all did you buy? Okay. Were you at Walmart earlier? Stole other shit. So. Yeah, I came to Walmart, but I came to London. This one? Yeah, I went to that one and sent it first. Where are you looking for? I, I just like looking at the Walmart. It's usually in the Did you buy anything earlier? No. Where were you headed to after you just left Walmart? To get food. To get food? Oh, okay. Where at? Were you gonna go get on the turnpike? Or did you just stop here? No, I just stopped here. I didn't know where to stop. Oh, okay. I couldn't turn around. You have a receipt for the stuff you bought? During the traffic stop, the officer noticed the Lego sets in the back seat, along with what appeared to be an explosive device. Will you roll down your back window for me? Thank you. What is all that? Alright, go ahead and hop out real quick. Come back here and stand by the back side of the car. Be 
get detained right now, okay? At least she ain't like she ain't aggressive, bro. She she complying. Do you have anything illegal in the car? There's um, a bat. There are these bars in my purse. Some Xanax bars. You're not prescribed. No. Okay. You have any guns in the car? No. Any other drugs? I don't think so. Okay. Sysaid co-pilot. Bro. Yeah, go ahead and secure her. I explain to me what that device is in the back of your car that looks like a bomb. Uh, I didn't, my boyfriend made that. Okay, sit tight. What? There's a fucking bomb in the back of that car. Bro, they pulling up in Teslas, bro? Okay, sit tight. What? There's a fucking... That is crazy, man. Bomb in the back of that car. Like, a bunch of fireworks strapped together with, like, metal and shit and wrapped around. Okay. Can you start a supervisor out here? It looks like there's some sort of explosive device in the back of the car that someone has built. It's got, like, four big ass fireworks, and there's, like, big old screws and shit all within that and then it's wrapped got like a bunch of stuff wrapped around it I and mean, i don't think it's gonna go off how big is it sketchy it's like this big it's definitely made to cause some damage yeah. when it goes off yeah god yeah if she would have somehow like leaned back there and lit that thing They got all yeah. type of vehicles when they pull up, bro. That's crazy. Where is this at? I feel we'll somebody them. else gets here. Yeah. Did you say an explosive device? Yeah. yeah it's like <laughs> a bunch of. It looks like TNT. Why is that fun to you, bro? And when that motherfucker, if that shit go off, bro, you ain't gonna be laughing then. And then it's got big old metal like uh, screws and like nuts, bolts, and then it's got a bunch of stuff wrapped around it. What did she say it was? She said her boyfriend it built it. And then there's a bunch of fireworks next to it. Alright. I'll keep this light blocked. Alright. She wasn't even, even nervous or anything when you were seeing the doctor because I didn't even Kinda. Know. She was quiet. But I couldn't, I couldn't see in the back window because the tent's so dark. Yeah. And I said, roll it down, and then I was like, what the fuck is that? Back seat. Yeah, not trying to get close to that shit. She did, all she said is that uh, her boyfriend made it. Oh, yeah. Um, so we probably want to figure out who boyfriend is. And, uh... Oh, if there's any more in his house, maybe. Alright, I'm going to read something to you real quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish one. If you decide to make a statement, you may stop at any time. Do you understand each of these rights that I've explained to you? Okay, are you willing to talk to us? Okay. So what what's the deal in the back of your car? You said your boyfriend built it? Mm -hmm. I honestly have no I don't know nothing about fireworks except uh -huh. for fireworks. I mean, okay. What's your boyfriend's name? Zane. What? Zane? Yeah. What's his last name? Bennett. B E N N E T T. Okay. When did he make that? Or like um uh, yes. A couple days ago. Okay. Do you know why he made it or anything? She called her boyfriend, who arrived on foot, and then asked if he could take possession of the vehicle if Mariah was going to be detained. 
Her boyfriend was identified as 20-year-old Zane Bennett. Oh, okay. Homie just walked straight into a trap. Janera is giving three queens the boost of Brazilian confidence they need to... How'd she get all the way out here? She was stealing stuff from Walmart and okay. took off and got stopped right there. She's about top on the turnpike, it looked like. What's up, bud? What's your name? Zane Okay, Zane, come over here and hang out for a second. Sure. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, my girlfriend had it on her. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I have a picture of my ID. Zane? Yes. Right. I have a picture of my ID. No, let's go back to Where'd you come from? Uh, I just came around, came walk, car wash, my friend had brought me up here. Where'd your friend go? Oh, uh, he's still parked at the car wash. Where's your vehicle? Hey, so you're huh? not on arrest mode, but I'm going to detain you real quick because we got some things we got to talk about. Okay. Which vehicle? Uh, the truck over there. The dark Dodge with no front bumper? Building shit, bro. For real, like. Buddy ain't got nothing else to do. I don't know if you want to mess with it, but the truck that just dropped him off is that dark Dodge. I don't know if we want to have somebody go make contact with him. It's his friend. Zane admitted to building the explosive device in a hotel room, using fireworks, and leaving in his vehicle his girlfriend was driving. Okay. So, man, I'll just, I'll just cut to the chase and I'll tell you why we have like all this shut down and everything right. is is it, it has to do with the little device you've made it looks like some fireworks tied together some nulls and buds to it and so so that's why we have this all shut down because it's kind of our protocol is is it it looks right. like an explosive device right. whole, you know it's a, so oh. do you is it like active is it like volatile yeah. to where if it falls it's, breaks is no, it going to go it, off it, it's, it's literally just fireworks like, like, if you take it apart, it's a whole bunch of little fireworks. Like, that are tied, like, in tape? Well, I mean, like, like okay, so it's like a stick. Yeah. So, so it, so, like, Zane claimed he was going to blow up watermelons and did not intend to hurt anyone. So, yeah, he he said he's just out doing, he was going to do some redneck stuff today, and he was going to take it out and blow up some watermelons with it. He said it's a couple of fireworks tied together. You have to light it like a normal firework. And he said, I just wanted to see what the stuff I taped to it on the outside would do if... I lit it by a watermelon. All the screws and everything. Yeah, I said, I said, were you trying to use it as a weapon? Were you going to, you know, go do anything today? He goes, no, I was just going to blow up some watermelons. And I said, okay. And he goes, that's why I left it in the car, because we were going to go, and then we didn't go. So I was like, all right, cool. So he doesn't even seem really ner nervous at all about it. How's it going, bud? Right, how's it going? Good, how are you? Can you stop the truck for me? Yeah. Hey, man, how do you know that guy, Zane? Oh, I just met, he asked me for a ride, said he need to come get his car. From where? From up at the Canterbury. Okay, you never met him before? Yeah, I met him. You just know him through the Canterbury? Sir? You know him through the Canterbury? Yes, sir. Do you stay up there? No, I don't stay there. Okay, you were just over there and he needed a ride? Yes, sir. Okay, do you have ID on you? All right, just sit tight for a second. We'll, we'll get you out of here in a second, but we're trying to figure out what's going on with his car. What happened? There's some weird stuff in there, so we got to figure that out. We just, if you're good to go, you can get out of here. Okay. But since you dropped him off and he's directly related to all this, we just want to figure out who you are and if there's anything going on. Oh, okay. Don't want to. No, he's good. All right, you're good to go. At 7.30 p.m., the Tulsa Police Department's bomb squad rendered the explosive device safe. After police took an x-ray of the device, it showed Zane used fireworks, fish hooks, metal screws, and rivets. I could just take those with me and bring them back to Walmart later, can I? Yeah, or... take them with you. You okay. can drop them off later. Okay. For 24 hours, they'll be there. <laughs> That's true. 
Zane was ultimately charged with illegally manufacturing an explosive device, and Mariah was charged with petty larceny. Hell no. Do you enjoy our content and want to see more? Join the code. I mean, at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't know what his intentions was with that, but luckily nobody was harmed or hurt with it. And or they caught caught him or them before they did do something crazy with it, but stealing Legos was crazy. I was thinking that she was like an older person, like maybe got some kids or something. She might have some kids, but stealing Legos is wow. <laughs> Out of all things, bro, that is that's crazy. But anyway, man, this is the end of that. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Make sure I run the likes up, sub so dudes, turn on post notifications. Y'all can follow my IG and Twitter. Links in the description. Hit me over there, man. We're going crazy, right? That 200K. It's your boy, the Bubala. And I'm out.